You are listening to From Ring to Veil. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kim. And we are your wedding planning gurus. We take the stress out and put the fun back into wedding planning. Houston Area Venues, episode number 172. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of the day it is that you're listening. If you have not joined our Facebook group, get over there now. We're over 100 members, tons of conversations going on, lots of questions being asked. It is from Ring to Veil Wedding Planning Community on Facebook. Please subscribe to the show wherever you're listening. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget we have a giveaway going on. It lasts till June 15th. So go enter it. It's some cute little items that we got from our sponsor at Zola. There are luggage tags and jewelry bowls. They're so cute. They they say Mr. and Mrs. They could make a good gift for you if you're getting married or if you are going to a wedding this year, they could also make a good gift for them. Luggage tags you could put on your honeymoon luggage. So everybody I know that you're Mr. and Mrs. now. So they're cute little gifts. So we thought we'd pass on some loot. Yeah, some loot that we got from our sponsor. You can go and sign in at fromringtovale.com slash May giveaway. You obviously love listening to podcasts. Well, have you tried an audiobook? Hi, I'm Kim, and I am an audiobook listener. It's actually my preferred way to quote unquote read. And if you haven't tried listening to one yet, Go to www.fromringtovale.com slash free book to get a free audiobook from Audible. I may have just given you your new obsession. Today we are continuing our Texas venue series in Houston. Houston is so big. It is so big. We probably could have had a hundred venues <laughs> on there. But we tried to whittle it down as low as we could. So Houston is a, like she said, huge. It's a very diverse area. You have lakes, you have bays, you have beaches. So you get a variety of venues. Downtown. Hello. <laughs> Hotels and rooftops and all kinds of stuff. It's, it really is, like you said, diverse. It's, it, it's an interesting place for yeah. sure. It's very muggy. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in mind when you're doing your hair. Yeah, when you do hair and when you have an outside wedding in July or August, it's going to be a sauna. <laughs> it will be. Yeah, but you have stunning water views. You have gulf views. There's all kinds of stuff out there. You can have something from tropical to rustic, depending on where you have your wedding at. And, you know, it could be a very good destination wedding if you've not even considered it. Mm -hmm. Look into it because there's so such cool things out there, um, such as the ocean or the Gulf, mm -hmm. right? But um, they also have things like NASA is there. They've got a space. The, the space, space center. Mm -hmm. Center. There you go. Yeah. I couldn't think of that word. And then they have, of course, amusement parks, SeaWorld, things like that. If you're into something like that. And the downtown area is thriving. I know everybody's thinking, oh, Harvey was there last year. Is it still, you know, all, but it's not. I mean, Houston, they clean up really well. They know what to do when stuff like this happens. It floods quite a bit because it is a bowl. It's basically water comes in, takes a while to go out. But I mean, they know what to do. They pump it out. They clean up. I mean, right now, Houston is on this kick where they're trying to get people to come in because Harvey did devastate their tourism. So, you know, you might want to go and check it out, even for a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and then again, you can also, even from Houston, you can drive out to Galveston. You could take a little trip over to Austin. It's not that far. Mm -hmm. It's a really good uh, consideration for a destination wedding. Yeah. Especially if you like warm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with a downtown venue. It's called the Bell Tower on 34th. It's actually in Houston. It's a downtown venue with lots of character. They actually have a bell tower and, you know, maybe they ring the bell after you do your nuptials. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> you might ask them. It has a lot of character. Um, a couple of things about it. Its guest capacity is 450. And for ceremony, they have an indoor and outdoor option. But for reception, it's indoor only. Um, and catering and bar service is provided. So it's apparently it's almost the, an all-in-one. Apparently on their website, it says they have delicious food and award-winning service. So, you know, you might want to go check them out. Their pictures are cool. Yeah, they have some good pictures. The indoor reception area 
looks really fancy to me. Yeah. I don't know why, but it just looks really <laughs> fancy. It's like it's there's a lot of arches, so it's like Tuscan architecture or something like that. And it has a lot of ironwork. There's arches everywhere. Every picture I see has arches. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. So, I mean, get married under an arch. I, it's yeah. it's gorgeous. It is. It looks historic, but I'm not really sure about that. They don't give too much information, but it looks really cool. So you might want to just go check it out. Of course, their links are here. So check it out for ringtovale.com slash 172. All the links will be there in the show notes. The next one is Water's Edge in El Lago, Texas. So you can just say, hey, El Lago, that means lake. (laughs) It is so pretty. So pretty. And the way they have the outdoor ceremony is like towards the water. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And it's between two palm trees. You can have awesome water views. It's on. You can light up those palm trees. Yeah. (laughs) Don't light them up too well. Um, (laughs) It's in Clear Lake. So it's kind of a offshoot of the bay you can say clear lake is where they have nasa where they have kima so there's a lot of nightlife and a lot of other things there that you can do if you're going to do a destination wedding this would be a really good one too as well as all the rest of them but this would be really good you can have 400 people there jeez ceremonies outdoor only reception is indoor only which i think that's a good thing Because your outdoor ceremony lasts maybe 30 minutes. In Houston, that's a long time to be outside. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And the reception is indoor air conditioning, you know. Mm -hmm. Perfect, yeah. So catering, you choose from a preferred list and bar service is provided. So you don't have to worry about bar service. You have to check out the prices and things, of course. And they'll go over that with you when you contact them. It's really close to NASA. It's got a, a tropical vibe. Yeah, there's a lot of... Yeah, there's tons of palm trees. Yeah. And their arbor is white and you can have bl- billowing fabric, you know, on that arbor. You can have tropical flowers and all kinds of stuff. So you can really dress it up. It's kind of Art Deco-ish, the building is. Mm-hmm. It's got some really, really good character to it. It's it's different and unique for sure. Okay, our next one is 5226 Elm. And this is in Houston. The, what they say is it's hip and stylish yet comfortable and inviting (laughs) the guest capacity is 150 they have indoor and outdoor ceremonies sites and reception sites i have to say looking at the at the gallery where they have their outdoor reception there is a little water feature and there is a huge arbor fully covered i guess you would say with with greenery and little flowers and stuff like that it looks like a very beautiful site. It's a very modern looking building. It's a metal building. Very It's modern. Stark. <laughs> modern concrete and steel. But on the inside you wouldn't know it. Yeah. It's, it's just very, very pretty. Yeah. It's a garden fill with a lot of greenery and the arbor's gorgeous. So inside in the studio area, um, they have twenty foot ceilings. So it's it makes a grand feeling when you're in there. The next one is called Mia Bella Vita. It's in Tumball. They have all-inclusive packages. Um, The guest capacity is 200 guests. They have ceremonies indoor and outdoor sites. And for reception, only indoor. Um, And one of their key things is they have a 10-hour venue rental. So you've got 10 hours to get in, do your thing, and get out. (laughs) They do have full-service catering that it's inclusive in their package. Past appetizers, you know, china silver, water, goblets, chargers, wine glasses, coffee cups, you know, all the stuff that you need. They do have a DJ included in that package. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Security. Hey, Mm -hmm. you know. We've had some question lately from from listeners about security and how to keep people from doing certain things. (laughs) Yeah. So their outdoor venue has a huge arbor, which looks like you could decorate that any which way you wanted and make it gorgeous. They they have a couple of really cool pictures where they even have a chandelier hanging on it or in it, under it, however you want to say that. (laughs) And it looks like they have a smaller arbor at the end of the aisle or at the beginning of the aisle. Beginning of the aisle? Yeah, it'd be Mm. beginning of the aisle where you'd walk in as you're coming down the aisle. Mm. That looks really pretty, too. 
you know, they have lots of fountains. Yes. It's, it's, you know, the garden areas are great. So just check this one out. It's really gorgeous. Agave Estates is in Katy, Texas. Guest capacity is 200. I was going to say dollars. Guest <laughs> capacity is 200 guests. Their ceremony and reception sites are both indoor only. Hmm. Although in their photos, they do have outdoor areas. It looks like they have a pool and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking that that is not right. Well, it looks like they have a courtyard area. Okay. For for outdoor ceremonies. It's like a adobe courtyard. So it's kind of southwestern feel. Yes. There's a lot of stone. There's a lot of stucco. It's really pretty. Looks like it's an outdoor fire place. Yeah. Maybe that's where you can have your ceremony or something. Just very, like you said, uh, Adobe in look. It just is very Southwest kind of different. You know, mm -hmm. I, I haven't seen any like this around there. Especially really in Houston. Cool. Big doors. Oh, my gosh. Those are gorgeous. Palm trees. Little garden nooks where you have like a lot of greenery. Great picture spots. Yes, absolutely. Check them out. Uh, again, the, the links to all these places are in our show notes. The next one on our list is called Magnolia and it is in Houston, Texas. And they have a couple of different places where you can get married. A couple of different sites. This has nothing to do with Magnolia and Waco. Just get okay. that out there. <laughs> Because everybody, when you say Magnolia in Texas, everybody's going to think, oh, Chip and Joe. But it's not. That's right. That's right. Uh, so for the Magnolia Ballroom, they have a 180 people limit with a dance floor and up to 200 without a dance floor. Ceremony locations, which can accommodate up to 330 guests, are set in theater style. And they have subtle finishes and a ne uh, neutral color palette. So you can change that to whatever you like. You think the ballroom would be larger than the lounge, but the lounge can have 200 people. That's right. And it's a unique and open concept space. So you could probably do anything with it that you want. The other site at the Magnolia place is a, the Sterling Ballroom. You can have 120 people with a dance floor and that's seated. 120 people seated. So you have tables and chairs. It has an urban and eclectic vibe of downtown Houston with floor to ceiling windows. So you've got like three totally different vibes going on in the Magnolia. Uh, you get to choose which kind you like. They, I, I, I do have to say there's not a ton of information on their website. So you will have to call them and talk to them. But they do have Magnolias in Dallas, Denver, Omaha, and St. Louis. So it's somewhat of a chain but they probably choose some really unique uh venues we're going on now to hempstead texas and the leendo plantation this looks like a plantation that you would see in georgia or something like that mm -hmm. it has it's very georgian architecture the houses with the columns and the two-story balconies and all of this stuff it is very, it is historic and they do have like civil war things that go on there. <laughs> There's a civil war weekend. So if you're interested in that, it's kind of, it's very interesting that they, that this type of a plantation type thing is just kind of right there in Houston. Yeah. Well, it's in Hempstead. It's not quite well, in Houston. Okay. Close to <laughs> Houston area. It has the capacity for 300 guests. The ceremony is outdoor and the reception is outdoor. And they have, you know, you bring in your own catering and alcohol services. So just take that into consideration. Make sure you check your your local laws about alcohol because Texas has some weird ones. Just letting you know. <laughs> Our next venue is the Marriott Marquis in downtown Houston. It is a huge hotel. Okay. It's one of the fanciest hotels in Houston. And this has a guest count of 2,000. 2,000. <laughs> 2,000 people? Yeah. They have this huge area ballroom that you can like set up like a con. I mean, they have it set up like a concert. It's a stage. You can have lights. You can have everything. And so if you really want to feel like a rock star for your wedding, there you go. This is the place. <laughs> Just invite people off the streets and hey. Let's come party. They do have indoor and outdoor ceremony sites and indoor and outdoor reception sites. Their in-house catering and bar service is there for you to use. 
And it's a very modern upscale hotel with over 150,000 square feet of event space. And my favorite thing about this hotel is that they have a Texas-shaped lazy river pool. (laughs) That's kind of funny. Yeah. They do have 52 different event rooms, so you probably could have a a wedding there as well as a few more of your friends. (laughs) Yeah. And, you know, you can have all your events there. Just letting you know that. It's crazy. Rehearsal, showers, bachelorette, bachelor, everything. Because they have a spa, tons of restaurants in there. Dining, fitness. Mm. Uh, Hey, you could work out before the wedding if you wanted to. (laughs) So everything's there. Okay. You just got to have their coordinators do everything. You know, say, here's what I want. Here's how many people do it and give me a price. Do it. (laughs) They've got fire pits. They've got cabanas with fire pits. They've got shopping inside. Told you, it's a huge hotel. I told Jeremy, I said, I just want to go to Houston so we can spend the weekend in this hotel because we won't have to need to go anywhere else. Go ahead. I mean, like... (laughs) Anniversary's coming up, right? Uh, yeah, but we're going to Charleston for an anniversary. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. You can you can hit a couple of venues while you're there. <laughs> Check it out. Do you want a fully customized wedding invitation suite? Well, we have a great place for you to go. It's called Minted. It has independent artists from around the world where you can get custom designs. You can get a whole suite from save to dates to your thank you notes and you can get free address printing just go to from ringdevail.com slash minted all right let's move on the moody mansion in galveston see i said you could just drive to galveston it looks very pretty because it's very ornate and um historical looking yeah it's very it's it's a historical venue when you drive in to Galveston from Houston, where it changes, where 45 ends, and it's just like, you know, residential streets, you can, it's hard to miss when you drive into Houston. It's orange, it's brick, it just sticks out <laughs> right there on the main road. It's so. gorgeous. It looks like an old timey mansion with forts type things. A few yeah. of those. They, they aren't yeah. castle ish, but, you know, <laughs> it's, it's super unique. Yeah, it's on the Texas Historical Registry, so it's an historic home that you can have your wedding at. Guest capacity is 150. They do have indoor and outdoor ceremony and reception sites. You bring in your own catering and bar service. So if you're looking for something historical. And unique. And unique. Try this one out. Yeah, and they also do, you can go there and take pictures. They'll let you do that. But you have to call, you know, and set up a time. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. That's good because sometimes they won't let you if you're not having your wedding there. Mm -hmm. Next one on our list, the rooftop bar and grill on Calhoun in Houston. This is a unique space. It's a restaurant and bar, but you can rent the up the rooftop for your wedding and reception. The guest capacity is 300. They have indoor and outdoor ceremony reception sites. And of course, there's in-house catering and bar service because it is a restaurant. Yes, it is. They have spectacular views of the Houston skyline. And it's a great place for the University of Houston alumni because, you know, it's on campus. Right. So if you if you really loved your alma mater and you met there, this would probably be a great place for you to have your wedding. And they do brew some of their own beers. So yeah. you can actually have some of that at your wedding. Mm-hmm. And it's very industrial in feel. So if you like those clean lines and hard services. Town Hall, Texas is in Conroe. Their max capacity is 150. They have indoor and outdoor ceremony and reception sites. And the catering you choose from a preferred list. And you bring in your own bar service. This is a place where you have multiple venues. You can do it in several different spaces. It's very old. It looks like an old rustic. Some of it looks like an old rustic barn. Some There's also one that looks like it has a tiki hut. <laughs> where you can get married underneath it you know mm-hmm. so, i mean it's very 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 of course you could do anything with this that you want there's an outdoor courtyard area with an arbor and then of course the covered area that looks like very tropical i don't yeah kind of a tiki-ish but yeah. huge yeah yeah it's huge it's pretty cool it's yeah pretty, actually it looks a little bit hawaiian in a way the way yeah. they've they've used the grasses on top of it 
Yeah. But then there's like a saloon looking thing. Yeah, there, there's like a barn. So, I mean, you can pick and choose. It's pretty cool. If you're looking for that kind of old style Texas country, what is it? Western town. Yeah. This would be fun. And the last one on our list is the 1877 Tall Ship Elisa in Galveston. This is at the Texas Seaport Museum in Galveston Harbor. It's where all the cruise ships are. So if you're getting married and you're going on a cruise, great place. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. Talk about unique, right? Yeah, you can you can get married on the ship, but you can also get married like outside the ship on the dock. You can all set that up. You can set it up several different places. It says the 500, there's 500 capacity on the Alyssa and Museum site. 300 for a seated dinner on the pier. So you can. That's you, a lot. Yeah, that's different. You know, I'm sure some of them can be on the, the ship and some of them have to stand mm-hmm. or some sit elsewhere. But because the ship doesn't look that big to me. But <laughs> well, I wonder if like they do the couple on the ship and then everybody else on the yard or something like that right outside there. Maybe. I don't know. You could do so many things with this. I think this is a very cool one. I too. love nautical theme weddings. So I mean, yeah. they, they are they're cute and they're kitschy sometimes, and sometimes they're really romantic. And because lots of if you get married at night, you have lots of candlelight and the winds blowing, and you know, sand, sea. Of All course, if you're in Galveston Harbor. Hey, it might not smell too well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You just pump some uh, essential oils in the air. You'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, You bring in your own caterers and bar service to this one, and reception is indoor only. Well, it says that, but then it says here on the site that you can have a seated dinner on the pier. So that sounds to me like Oh, I wonder if it's an inside thing on the pier or if it's a cupboard or something. It doesn't say exactly. Yeah. But there are no kitchen facilities, so I wonder if you will have to make certain concessions for the whoever you bring in. Yeah, like they have to bring in hot boxes and sinks mm-hmm. and things mm-hmm. like that. So, All right, so we have given you a few places to consider for your Houston area wedding or destination wedding. Mm-hmm. Uh, we encourage you to check out all these links and call the people that you call the ones that you think that you might be interested in and get a little more information from them. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there's tons of venues in Houston. So if you oh, like yeah. the Houston area, just you know, go to a wedding site like Wedding Wire or The Knot or something like that, and you can check out venues in the Houston area. We just gave you a few. We tried to vary them, mm-hmm. you know, on location and feel. Um, our next venue show will be the last one in the Texas area, and that's going to be the DFW area, the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So get ready for that one. We'll have that one in June. And then we'll start going on to different states. So Yeah. Yeah, if you guys have any ideas or suggestions or you want us to do some research for you and come up with uh some venues <laughs> let us know where you want us to go next yeah don't forget about our giveaway from ring com slash may giveaway get get over there get entered mm-hmm. don't forget we're our little package of wedding timelines and checklist Firming com slash checklist. It's two ninety nine, and it's a wealth of information for you and some helpful lists and budget sheets and checklists and all kinds of things for you to help plan your wedding. Join our Facebook group. It is from Ring to Veil Wedding Planning Community on Facebook. We also have a place where you can go buy T-shirts. So if you want to spread the news about us, you want to wear some FRTV swag. Go to firmringtovell.com slash T-E-E, and you can go check those out. There's also other stuff besides FRTV swag on there. So Yeah. Uh, subscribe to the podcast. We're everywhere. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher. We're on CastBox, and we have an Alexa skill. So you can find us anywhere and share us with your friends. Let them know where to listen to us because not everybody knows about podcasts still. Yeah. <laughs> Even though Alex Inc. is out there and for people to watch. (laughs) But they canceled it. Well, it's not very good. But the thing is. I love Zach Braff. So it's getting podcasts out there. People are (laughs) like, what is a podcast? So anyway, we're not going to talk about canceled shows because they made me mad this time. They canceled (laughs) Kevin 
probably can't can save the world and i guess he can't because he got canceled <laughs> well anyway. you know start a uh revolution and yeah well i mean we back. did that with timeless and it came back on we sure did didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> so i mean the alexa skill it took us a while to finally get it to work oh did it <laughs> at least it did for me okay you have to ask it a specific question. You have to ask, say, Alexa, tell Ring to Vell to play the latest episode. It's weird you have to say that specific thing, but I've tried I've tried other questions and it wouldn't do that. Sorry, that's not available, or I don't know what that is, or... <laughs> play around with it a little bit. So, until next time, no stress, no worries, keep calm and listen on. Music provided by bensound.com.